Oxion is an extremely powerful content management system that is built on an object-oriented programming model, which means that the objects that we need to show on the screen, like these features here, this navigation here, search box, logo, whatever the elements are, that's what makes up your design. And these elements, be it the background image or the navigation at the bottom, whatever we want to do, we can now take a look at this site in 3D view so that we can see that these objects get a better look at these objects here. Here are all the links down below which might be separated by their own individual divs. Uh, there might be a background image which appears. These features here might link to certain sections of the site that we want to call users to. Uh, within even the home page where you saw the different uh, services that we provide, these are each really calling to images which live behind this slideshow. So these elements are being dynamically pulled from the back end because we've said show us the top you know six or seven services including their thumbnails so as we add new services they will immediately be stacked up here and be available on the home page even down to the little icons that control font size or the logo or the search we can even see the full inverse of the site so this becomes a very flexible framework uh, take for example if we were to shrink this site so if I were to take this site and shrink it down you'll see certain things will disappear. This section here will disappear. This is called responsive design because if a device is calling to this site which is very small well it might need to search services or conduct a search within the site itself and we can't disturb the user's experience we have to show only the elements that we want to show. And again if we were to take a look at this element and inspect its elements and look at it in the 3D view you'll see that this mobile site it's real tiny it's very narrow here we're just going to flip it around so you can see it. So it's the same layers appearing but in a very narrow way. Uh, same thing holds true for any of our clients running Central Point that they may wish to see their site in 3D view where you see a lot of things going on here. Here are all the different features that they have racked up. Quite a few things happening behind the scene. Uh, within each article you'll see the different Facebook like, likes, Twitter tweets, comments to each article here are the various advertising elements that you see within the site and all of these elements are being managed by central point so that you can very easily log in as a non-developer manage these objects you can do them in divs which is the proper way to do it you can do it in tables you can now manage all of your images and your elements and how they serve to the site is really based on your style sheets what style sheets do you wish to use what is the style for the mobile version of the site? What is the style for the main version of the site? So now this becomes an interface for non-technologists to communicate with the site's design so that we can now intelligently serve it based on the user requesting it and the device.